All right. Oh, it's Brom. Doesn't look that hard. It's got to be a trick, right? That is quite a man. This is Elawi. He's our champion. Our truth bearer. It is an honor to meet you. I am Brom <laughs> of the Freljord. The Freljord? You've traveled far. My men say they pulled you from the water. They showed me great kindness. Walk with me. I am curious to hear more. Now, is Brom gonna have poros? That's that's the main question. The great sickness has come to the Freljord. It has placed <laughs> of many children. Little poros. So, you know, if, if you, like, pass away and your cats are locked up with you, they'll, they'll leak your corpse. I wonder, I wonder if Poros do the same. the impossible. Your heart is pure, but the sickness is spreading. And you're just a muscled-up goon. is impossible. The Freljord is my home. These people are my family. Tell me, what must I do? When I was a boy, well, if you think about it, right, the Poros could stop the spread, right? Get passes, they just Blessed consume the remains, and you know, they possessed water, think about it, which was said to cure any illness. But, Brown, that place was destroyed by the black mist, Shadow Isles, they call it dangerous, Brown. even for you. Dangerous, and if we do, who knows if that water even exists? Sometimes a story is just a story. Will return with this blessed water. Then think of the stories they will tell, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basic basic uh motivation. Brom's juicing. Brom smashing. Oh, he lost his shield. Was that like a be our little subquest, maybe get the shield. We'll get Pike to get the shield, maybe. Yeah, yeah. You fought the black mist. Are you sure? Yes, and I will happily do so again. Uh, once I uh, how how the Poro stay alive? In the battle with the mist, my shield was lost. It is very valuable to me. I will do whatever I must to recover it. Malawi, we come with a message from Captain Fortune. We ain't looking for a fight. Well, what is the message? She requests an audience. She says... Well, she says the Black Mist has returned. See? Brom wasn't lying. The Black Mist. It has returned. Full gear. Thank you, Bram. <laughs> She'll be expecting you. Come with us. I know the way. My friend, it seems fate has brought us together. This is not your fight. As Truthbearer, it is my sworn duty to push back the mist. Yet, your arrival here is no coincidence. This much I know. Perhaps it is the sign I was looking for. Look, do the Naga Kaboros test, see if he's worthy. I may learn more of the cure I seek, and repay your people's kindness. Your desire is strong. I will not stop you. Let us see what Sarah Fortune knows. Sarah Fortune, Sarah Kerrigan, both redheads, both have guns. Coincidence? I don't know. Brom has joined the party. Roll defense disruption buffs. Plus the massive biceps and an even bigger heart. Brom is a beloved iceborne hero of the Freljord. 
Grom uses his massive shield to protect his allies and stop any who would try to harm them. In his icy homeland, sagas are sung of Brahm's deeds, but in Bilgewater, he is just another traveler, seeking a way to cure his people of the disease that plagues them. He contains the spread of the disease with his infant-eating poros. <laughs> that's, that's my headcanon. Brahm carries a poro friend with him that can provide, that can explore small crevices and bring back items and finds. Let's go! His dungeon ability shield stomp damages and applies concussion to enemies starting combat. Okay. Shield stomp is even strong enough to break some walls. Ooh, I like his dungeon abilities. Combat mechanic. Strong and tough. Braum is adept at shrugging off enemy blows. While Braum is casting, he takes reduced damage. Okay. Oh, that's his, uh, that's his shield in that thumbnail. I guess we have to get it. By using unbreakable... Brom can draw enemy attention away from his friends and towards this powerful shield. Brom's concussive blow applies concussion on enemies. When enemies with concussion take damage, they build more stacks of concussion. If they reach max stack, they take damage and are stunned. Kind of like Street Fighter 2, you know, when you do enough damage in a period, they, they get concussed. Meet Miss Fortune at her manor. New locations back to the map. Radar. I will not go see Sarah Kerrigan. I wouldn't give... But I wouldn't give for a over cooking again. No class here. Don't spoil by examining the pictures. Yeah, yeah. Me? Oh no, I don't work the bridge. The honor belongs to the crew who collect the toll fees. Just think of how much that would cost those cranes. Against how much they've made. Dust. Essence. Scraps. So, wait. So, so we should become bridge people? Is that what this dude's telling me? Grotto, Boathouse, Charming Lady. Okay, well, uh, yeah, we're, we're not going that way. Or maybe I should, I don't know. Bulgewater's made of ships, but it ain't one. Don't need captains up here. In theory, I should be coming back to this area, right? Right. This is a buff. Sure, let's rest. <laughs> this is Sarah Fortune's private vessel. Riffraff aren't allowed in, he says. Okay. A good butcher. The giant ship over yonder, none other than Miss Fortune's own vessel. Uh, Ruby the Ruby, the, the rumor monger, buy ru rumors. Yes. This felt vendor will sell you rumors about people and places, unlocking new side quests in your quest log. New rumors will appear as the story progresses. I'm so poor. A uh, brief life. Owen has lost his brother over suspicious circumstances. Speak to him at the harbor near the jail to learn more. Little info. Little info is known other than someone at Baron's West that needs to speak to someone who can keep things to himself. Her name is Renee. Renee? An anonymous tip about two building owners in the Fleet Street who want someone to connect the dots. The first building is a mom and pop shop run by two of the nicest vendors in Bilgewater. The second is a recently purchased abandoned warehouse. Sounds paranoid, but speak to the owners of both buildings in the Fleet Street. Alright. Let's get Sarah Fortune first. And then we'll become a rumor monger and get completely sidetracked solving side quests. I'll be back for you though, don't you fucking worry. this way right I assume the people are going the way we're supposed to go where they walk you know um oh <laughs> boat houses grotto salvage slums Oh, is this L? No? 
Oh, it's metal click. What? I've had a long day. Taking a rest. So what if it's morning? Sometimes an hour still counts as a long day. Like, I don't see you here catching no fish to sell at market. <laughs> I am but one of many truth bearers. There are no stories of me that I know. What of you? Do they tell your stories? Well, in the what's family? your lore, Brom? <laughs> of course they do. It is good to have myths, legends. The Brelion, oh, it is a land full of legends. What a legend. I do like the little, um... Like, uh, just dialogue between PCs, right, you know? That can come up. That's neat. Switch between our characters. Broken. A plunder crab scuttles around on the deck in the open. No one seems to mind. I don't trust fish, me. This is a salvage yard. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. What's next? Someone's going to tell me they like turtles? Trust. More enchanting stuff. More gold. Dude, we're just... We're just fucking Robin. Guardian ring. Enchanting stuff. I really want someone to fight me in this game. When I when I take shit. Whoa, don't scare me like that. I almost fell in the water. Quiet, you'll scare the fish. Okay. It'd be funny if we could knock him into the water. Oh, I clicked someone and now something's happening. No, 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 a fishing mini game. You'll find fishing holes like this one while exploring. Well, in these locations, you're safe from enemies and combat encounters. The fish walk up to the edge of the water and cast your interact button. Once initiated, the casting power meter. What? Yeah, dude. Fishing games are the crack cocaine of RPGs, okay? You can't just be like, oh, yeah. you want some heroin? Huh? Huh? Once initiated, once initiated, the casting power will display, cycle back and forth. Press the interact button again to cast your line. The distance you cast will be based on when you time the button press. When your line is out of supply, when your line is out, simply wait for a fish to approach and hook onto your lure. If needed, you can adjust your line by pressing the interact button to reel in gradually. When a hook is fished on your line, you must reel them in by pressing the interact button, moving in the opposite direction of the fish. Many fish will put up a fight and require you to wear them out before effectively reeling them in. The outer ring. Is the fi is on the, of the fishing meter is the fish stamina and will drain as the fish fights. The inner ring on the fishing meter is your line strength, which depletes as you fight the fish. Your line strength will deplete faster if the fish has stamina, so the key is to wear it out before really getting in with the interact button. If your life if your line strength is fully depleted, your line will break and the fish will get away. If you can this is probably the longest tutorial. If you can successfully reel the fish back to the edge of the water, it will be caught. Once caught, the type of fish will be seized. Well, the type of fish and size will be revealed. Your records can be viewed in the fishing journal. In some cases, you will catch a treasure instead of a fish, which can be opened in the inventory to reveal additional rewards. Collect different types of fish and trade them into the fishmonger for black mark currency. This is just a different game. <laughs> Rare and unique fish can be found at each of the various fishing holes. Be sure to experiment with fishing equipment, which enhances your line strength and ability to attract bigger and better fish. 
fishing journal. I don't have a rod and lure. Damn, that's some nice fishing music. Generic loot. Oh, who are you? What have we here then? A new guppy on the dock, I I is it? The man says. Don't worry, chum. I don't bite. Name's Leo. You look like the capable sort, so I'll tell you how things work around here. See, I'm a fishmonger, and everyone on this pyre brings me their fish, and for good reason. <laughs> Let me guess, because you're hungry? It's the coin I trade for them. The special kind, chum. Hard to find currency. That can get you things you can't get elsewhere. And all I need is fish, he says. There are some less than savory merchants that deal only in black marks. You give me fish, I give you marks. Spend them how you like, he, see, he says. Uh, where can I spend black marks? I have an associate over there in the low tide market that'll trade for them. I also heard there's a husker, hus, huckster, huckster. Down at Baron Rest's Tavern. But I've never met him myself. Gross items. The Fishmonger is a special vendor that sells fishing equipment. You can also trade in fish from your inventory for black mark currency. When your champions increase in level, the Fishmonger will unlock new fishing locations on your map. Do I have to be level 6 to equip a fishing pole? A level 6 fishing pole? Alright, so real strength 62, 81, line, str line strength 21, 18, 16, 18. Interesting, we can buy some grub. Um, I'm going to, 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 to leave for now. Maybe we'll have a fishing stream later. Where I go a little hammo. Ice cream trucks outside. A begrimed merchant sports a sly smile. An unusual location for an unusual dealer. Great artifacts. Black marks by chat. You found your way into the low tide market. Don't be don't see something you like? Check later when the tides are different. You tide new wares. Spend your marks here instead of at the other lad. L at least you know what you're getting. The spender uses a special currency called Black Marks. Items in a shop are very rare and usually carry special properties. Black Marks can be found by trading in artifacts and by oh, two spaces there instead of one, and by trading fish at the fishmonger. Anything tradable will appear in the treasure category in your inventory. Uh, Bura, Blue Flame Artifact, Bonus Damage and Stamina. The Ring of Magic helps the wearer find wealth. Gold Scarger increases gold and quarter by combat by 10%. Oh my god, the macro! The macro play! You gotta get this. This is this is my personal mission, to get this Prospector Ring. Dude, I'm just stealing. What's Pyrofluid? Ali combustible liquid used for enchanting. A 
attack, defense. Alright, we'll put this on her. Maybe, I don't know. This is a better ring of resolve. Weird. Hello. Had myself muted. I'll take that silence for support. You're not from the jagged hooks, are you? You're not supposed to ride here. Your cruise means otherwise of getting around. If you don't let us pass, there'll be trouble. You've got some fighting you, don't you? That's all right. I've learned how to tolerate. He says, takes out a knife on cue. His partner approaches menacingly. Motion is off. Oh, wild card attack up. When a region or boot is not present, a wild card initial bar region will be randomly selected at the beginning of combat. Hazards and boons. Fighters that land within the region will be targeted and affected by the region. Reaches and when the region reaches the front of the initial bar. Imagine looking at Brahmin line and thinking to yourself, that's my mugging target. I know, right? It's like <laughs> they literally weigh more than me in pure muscle. Let's mug them. Wild cards benefit everyone. Luckily, there are a number of champions such as Braum that can use abilities to push others back out of the initial bar timeline into and out of the wildcard region. Each battle represents challenges and opportunities to use them to the fullest. On three turns. Nah. Maybe? Pushes back the target by a small amount. Add shield damage to all allies, absorbing 40 damage on each. Damage shield to all allies. So if we heroic leap... 53, 106... We're here. Nope, nothing's going in. Uh, nimble uh, from balance and power lanes. Counter slash, only useful after dodging. Deals quick light damage. Jab deals minor damage over two hits. All right, I'm gonna beat up the pugilist. I think.
58, pretty big. Power up. So we're doing like 50 something damage. He dodged. Plus GG. No. So it'd be cool if I did a pushback and made that fast. Maybe I could delete him. some whatnot. Are they dead? <laughs> Mind of my own business. Don't forget to pay the tithe or it'll cost you more than, than a coin. Oh, I, I just speed them up. So, I think we're good. just down these stairs. Um, two points for Braum, which is by 39 magic and pushes the target back a small amount. Push back by 100%. Ooh, I do like that pushback. Reduce damage taken while casting by an additional 6%. Oh, and magic back. Deals 25, generates 10 overcharge, adds a stack of concussion. At max stacks, does 11 magic damage. as a stun. Instead, deals 18.6 magic damage to stun immune enemies. Okay. Taking damage while afflicted by concussion will add another stack. Yeah, so I guess you could just go, like, stun guy. On that night, 5 damage or 10 damage to stun immune. Increase the stun duration from short to medium. Hmm. Kind of tricky. Maybe it's just bam bam. What you cost? 20? Yeah, let's go with a uh, stack concussion. Probably, we'll see how the concussion builds go. Do gold. Do gold. Or gold. Chanting. You. Before I get moving, I'm due to work the night at the warehouses. Can't fall asleep again. Me? A pickpocket? 
How can these people live in such discord with the sea? The harrowing could have destroyed Bulgewater last time it hit. Two gold. More potions. Condensed mana crystal. This is not the way to misfortune mana. This is a less reputable part of Bulgewater. Okay. What's wrong with that? Let's go talk to Sarah Kerrigan. My final boat ain't for everyone, but it's the only life for me. Uh, sure. Menus like this one can be found in various locations as you explore here. You can buy goods using gold currency. Some items can be purchased in multiple quantities. Yeah, increase that. Uh, I think we're good for now. So I assume condensed mana crystals are just an enchanting thing. This crystal grows faintly with energy used for enchanting. Uncommon. You used to run with gangplank. Good for you. Right, I'm not talking to everyone. There's there's a lot of people here to talk to. Oh, the great sa saf safal safalite heist of re of five. Hey, or live. The count is mad. Says charm didn't work. Girlfriend dump him in the pub public square. It's a weird way to put public. He came to shop and shoot me. I'm bleeding. Sorry. You'll have to steal without me. Honestly, I can't move my legs. I won't be much help anyways. Watch out because Sir Mago family knows who you are. After he shot me, Count said Sir Mago want to take your skin to make taxidermy out of so that they can put you in the House of Horrors down in Slaughter Docks with a W. I've been in that house and it is not nice. Not a respectable place to put anyone it's like a circus in there they put silly outfits on all their dead enemies i'm sorry this is a mess it's my fault i made the charm too lusty not enough love the count is crazy please watch out for him also good luck stealing garum This uh, Bilgewater place is very big. Very big. Bilgewater is uh, like a mountain range of boats and houses. It stretches as far as the eye can see. It takes some getting used to. But it can feel like home, like any place. There are fortunes, the state is down the elevator that way. First, let's sample some of the market wares. You've had a taste of the dangers in Bilgewater. Predicting the dialogue. I gotta, I gotta. Now's the time to equip ourselves to prepare for what's to come. But I don't know what's to come. I don't even know. I'll equip myself with what's in that barrel. Welcome to the market where you'll find vendors of almost every flavor. I'm not buying anything. I'm gonna go talk to Sarah Kerrigan. Oh, is this just a left? Oh no, this is this is the way we're supposed to go. Game playing could find weakness in Noxin, in piety in a Raktor, Rakor, and immodesty in a Poltover and. He had old Tom's tongue. Okay, sure, buddy. When Sarah Fortune took over, I think the gang violence actually got worse. Uh, 
a nice big old y'all fish. We were here before, yeah. I don't think this is where the manor is. Maybe it is, yeah. No, probably not. I'm probably going the wrong way. Yeah. On the captain's pub, right? This isn't her personal estate. Whatever, I'm gonna go in and check super quick. Yeah, pretty sure this is not the place. James, like, leave. Get out of here. I wonder if anyone just like went to the rumor monger and we and were like, all right, I'm gonna solve all these rumors before I even talk to Misfortune. <laughs> Fortune estate, okay. Damn, we're just like literally she she lives just like way far out. All out underground nerd. I would never never dream of such a thing. Door is locked. Smooge. Oh no. Okay, we're good. Alright. Smojis! Game crashed. Alright, let's see if we can get it back up. It's like an 8 bit game? This is not an 8 bit game. Are you fucking drunk? This is a 3D game. <laughs> oh. Wait, maybe it had nothing to do with, with, um, Twitch. Yeah, no, it, uh, oh, bueno. No more about game design and game production. All right, it has crashed a second time. So, probably something I'm not going to be able to fix while on stream. So, I guess that concludes our first stream playthrough of the game. Yeah, I like it so far. Gonna see if I can get this working, and yeah, we'll go from there. So if you enjoyed the stream, love to have that like button, and subscribe for more gaming goodness. I'm also gonna be starting Fear and Hunger 2. I recently wrapped up Fear and Hunger 1.